Thank you for coming out. I know my staff's uh, chomping at the bit to get back to work with the animals, so uh, we'll make this relatively brief. Uh, I thank everybody for coming out today. This is, uh, I guess, in the history of the zoo, one of the more important things that we're going to have being built here, uh, especially for our animals and our staff. Uh, one of the things that we work the most here for our zoo is animal care. Animal care is the top cornerstone of what we do for our animals. Our, our professional staff is what they work with so hard. They work so hard on you know, making sure our animals get the best of everything, the best of care, the best of uh, what they do when they work with them on a day-to-day -day basis. And what we're gonna start today is, is our animal commissary. And I know some of my staff that have been here for a long time have been waiting for this for many, many years. Uh, the building you see behind us was built in the 1950s. It was actually a WPCA project. Uh, it was the it's called it was called the Monkey House or the Burden Mammal Building many many years ago. The Burden Mammal Building was actually state of the art construction back in the 50s. We actually were on the cover of Look Magazine as the way zoos were building new exhibits. Well, over time it really didn't work that way. Um, uh, as, as we start looking at what we really need for animal care. The building has gone over many transformations over the, that time. One of the biggest ones was over 20 years ago, and really one of the people that were supportive of that was the mayor, Mayor Gannon here, and Mario Testa, who actually supported us getting funding from the state of Connecticut to redo this building to make it into the, the New World Tropics building or the Rainforest exhibit. Uh, that gave our animals inside uh, the best of care, the best of exhibits they could be inside, state of the art uh, for now, for now days. Uh, but what we didn't have was a place where we could prepare diets for our animals. The kitchen was basically the same for the 1950s. And for some people that were out there uh, that know if you had a house that had a kitchen that was in the 1950s, you know how you'd feel. And you know, so you kind of know how my staff feels about it. Um, they're really, really excited to do a state of the art uh, ex uh, commissary in here to prepare their diets. One of the most exciting things we have that's going to go on, that I feel is good for this building, is going to be a, a window that's going to be placed in the kitchen, a big picture window. This way our guests can come by and actually see our, our staff preparing the diets that are fed out to our critters on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the, the stuff that we give, the, the, the produce that we give our animals, the uh, is all state, uh, not state, it's all stuff that you can't even buy in the store. A lot of people think that we, we, we can use stuff that's kind of inferior because for animals, well, that's not the case. Our animals get the best food they can possibly, uh, we can best possibly buy. So we're really excited to have our staff to be able, I know, I think they're excited about having a new kitchen. Um, actually, I think there's even gonna be a, a dishwasher in there, so even more exciting for that. Uh, and I think that, uh, again, this is something that's been a long time coming and we thank the city of Bridgeport for supporting us on this. The animals thank them and I think our staff thank them. But now I wanna thank the mayor again for being here and having to say a few words. Thank you, I'm gonna be brief, but just really to say thank you for your leadership uh, personally and to your the entire staff and all the people that continue to make this great, call it an attraction, but it's more than an attraction. It's um, it's really something special in the city of Bridgeport and in the state of Connecticut that um, allows all of us, not just young people, but all of us to really get a better feel for, whether it's, I want to say amusement, but really for education about um, our, our, our comrades in this world, whether it's the reptiles uh, to our left and our right, the snakes and the, and the gator that uh, makes you feel so comfortable being a politician, being uh, squeezed between these two. Um, but really to, um, to really be a place of learning and, and a place of positive experiences for, for the youngest, or, or, or I guess as P.T. Barnum said, from, for children of all ages. So um, in any way that I can continue, and I think Greg and I know we've had a good history uh, through, through the last span of years and trying to do positive things here as an administration in conjunction with, with the zoo and, and with this park and now with the Zoological Society and, and all that, and through your leadership, and all the great support that you have, it's a wonderful thing. So this, as I learned today, again, being entertained, but also learning, um, the nutritional value, uh, the commitment to what is fed, what, they, what, what our, our, um, our inhabitants um, of, the, of the Beersley Zoo consume is critical. And you know, you made a good point. Well, you know, you, you can't just take day old food from people, although they think they'd like to contribute it. It has to be quality and it's all regulated and um, it really provides for healthy 
a healthy environment and a healthy nutritional balance and diet. And so this is another great step. Um, as Greg pointed out, the funding for this was allocated before I came back in. But it's almost a half a million dollars, maybe more than a half a million dollars um, into what will be, as you know, we use the term a lot, but it means a lot, state-of-the-art facility here, which goes and adds to the great work that's being done here. So thank you for your leadership. Uh, thank you for allowing us to come out and have fun with you today. And then we'll be at the ribbon cutting in, what, what do you think, three months? Maybe a little more than three months. We'll, four we'll months. Try, four we'll months. Four months. That's right. I was going to say six, but I figured I'd keep you on track. I know it's going to come in under budget and on time, so that, that's yeah. the important thing. Okay, Anthony, you want to take a couple words on behalf of the City Council? I want to thank uh, Mayor Ganim, his administration, and uh, Greg and the Zoo for the great teamwork that uh, brought us here today. Uh, Greg, I've seen firsthand you and your staff's love for the animals and their commitment to the animals, they take care of them, they're here after hours because of the love for them and the zoo and for you. So I want to thank you and I look forward to uh, much more of these events. Thank you. Okay, thank you very, thank you everyone. If, uh, if again, there's any questions on the project, uh, Simpson uh, Company is over here, Dale Simpson's over here to uh, to talk about uh, how the project is going to go forth, what we're going to be putting in into the exhibit, uh, not the exhibit, actually it's going to be an exhibit, which is, uh, we that's what I think is exciting for me, but, uh, and the staff's really excited to be on exhibit for the, uh, for any time they're preparing guides, you can see how excited they are, but I know that they know that uh, the kids will really enjoy seeing what we feed our animals, but again, if anybody has questions, again, they're here to answer about uh, the, the actual exhibit, and hopefully uh, come, come uh, around first of the year, we'll be able to open this up and, and be really excited about preparing our diets for him. Again, thank you very much for coming. Again, our penguins that, are, that came here for the summer will be here till October 3rd. So again, for those people out there in, uh, that are watching on Facebook, uh, please get here quick because they will be leaving and uh, uh, by, uh, by October 3rd. And the camels? Camels will be actually this weekend. It's the last time we'll be riding camels here this summer. So we're excited about uh, again having the camels here, but again, and uh, what else? Our tortoises will be leaving soon. You now kids are going back to school. This is the last. This last weekend is the time to come out and visit the zoo. It's going to be beautiful weather.